Every gang. What's up, y'all? This episode is brought to you by DistroKid. DistroKid is a service that musicians use to put music into online stores and streaming services. This includes iTunes, Spotify, Apple Music, TikTok, Amazon, Deezer, Tidal, and many more. DistroKid collects earnings and payments and sends 100% of the earnings to artists. Artists can also pay their collaborators. You can also get a hyper-follow to get more Spotify followers and promote your releases. DistroKid is also the first distributor to send music to TikTok. Use this link to get 40% off your first year's DistroKid membership. DistroKid.com forward slash VIP forward slash free game. All that information is in our description. Holla at your boy. Free game. Podcast. We are at the, in the Bandwidth Studios yeah. with a very, very, very special guest. Yeah. A uh, hip hop production legend. Yes. Particularly uh Atlanta production legend. Uh trap music. We talk about trap music. You're yes. talking about legend. <laughs> like arguably arguably the creator of trap music to Absolutely. me, bro. <laughs> I wouldn't say all that. I would. Yeah. God damn. Absolutely. Yeah, and we've been saying that for years, but yes, uh, not just today. Uh, yeah. worked with uh Jeezy. Gucci Mane, Snoop Dogg, Yo Gotti, Pastor Troy, uh, yep. Pusha T, Kanye, you name it, T.I., you know, we got Shorty Red in the building. How you doing, sir? What's happening? What's happening, man? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, What's man. What's cool? This is a big deal for me, Shorty Red, man. Hey, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I just want to, like, personally salute you, man, and just tell you, man, you know, like, you have inspired a whole gang of us. Mm. You know what I'm saying? They came in right around the time you did. Some of us came in right after you did. I mean, but the the truth is, man, you know, you you set the tone, mm. and I just I I've been waiting to get you on the show. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so this is really dope. Thank you for your time. Hey, that's you right. know what I'm saying? It's real shit, bro. Hey, salute for the love. Yeah. Uh, growing up uh, here in the, in the Atlanta area, you know, coming up as a kid in Detroit, I knew about like Kilo, mm. you know, and like a lot of the bass music from the South. How did that music uh, of it, the early Atlanta hip hop inspire you growing up? I mean, I actually was doing bass music. You yeah. know, before the transition, because mm -hmm. I was with a group called City Boys. City Boys, yeah. Mm. We had a song called Bounce Out of Bounce and Get Em Up. And I literally had um, just came a part of the group, yeah. you know, and we was going to do the second album. Like, I came, like, right at the end of the first, and then we was going to do the second album. But um, management just felt like we was growing, and we wanted to cuss, and we wasn't going to be kids no more. Right. So they kind of shut the whole thing down and just mm -hmm. was like, Shout Red produce, you know what I'm saying? So I just started producing. So every time they bought me a piece of equipment, if I mastered it, how, however fast I mastered the equipment, they would buy me some more equipment. That's crazy. So they buy me equipment like every two days. So yeah. you're like, <laughs> so you like self-taught? Yeah, yeah, I'm self-taught. Okay. Yeah. Dope. What was some of the early equipment? Uh, I started. Yeah. I started on the SP1200. So that's where my a lot of my sounds to this day come. From the SP12, yeah, you know I, I EQ'd and tweaked a lot of stuff through uh, um, a leases board and you know my SP1200. So like if I put it in my MPC, it's still, it's still I know how to make hard. it hit. Yeah, you know like it was coming out the SP12. So is that like how you is that where the 808s came from too? Yeah, the, the SP12. Yeah, because because I couldn't play a bass line. I didn't know how to play a bass line with the keyboard. Like yeah. they they was just weak to me yeah now like, you know i'm a three c mafia fan yeah mm. you yeah. know what i'm saying so i want that bass bass so yeah. i just started like tweaking my own you know i started putting this bass together this bass until yeah. it just got round you know and just nice. adding more bass and then i created my own 808 yeah that's yeah, I'm, you know, it's crazy to hear that, man, because I, now that you say that you're a 3-6 fan, it's like I can really hear it in the music. Yeah. I can hear the influence, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, that's that's family. Like, yeah. like I actually I actually was um, going to be signed to 3 6 Mile. Well, that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? But I chose my own path with my own production company. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because Juicy, Juicy and Paul, they were trying to sign me. Like, I used to open up for them that's back crazy. in the day as an artist. That's I was dope. signed to MCA Workers. You know, so I used to open up for them like everywhere they was at, and Crazy. we family because I went to school to Mif in Memphis, so we okay. family anyway. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So a lot of their music is is 
inspiration to me. You know what I'm saying? So what, like, you know, that's really dope to hear you say you, instead of, you know, taking deals and stuff like that, you started your own production company. What gave you, like, the, you know, the sense to know that so early? Because the team I was with, like, I had, um, um, they was twins. Mm -hmm. It was twin production, you know, and they did electrician, but they had, like, the biggest sound system. You know, everybody called them to bring their sound system Damn. to the club and set up, like, Outkast and Young Bloods. Like anybody, yeah, you know what I'm saying. So, them guys really like taught me the business. Like they didn't want me to be, you know. And then my grandma wasn't playing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They, they met my grandma. They was like, ah, oh, nah. If I'm gonna give you custody, like my grandma literally gave them temporary custody. So wow. like they was teaching me the business. They didn't want me to come out and just be uh, an artist and a producer and not know the business. So every time. We was doing contracts and stuff like that. You know, I would be in the room and they teaching me. You that's know what I'm crazy. Saying? Yeah, that's dope. That's dope. A lot of people yeah. don't have a lot of people don't have mentors. You know what I'm saying? Like we get in the business, you know what I'm saying? Most of us just had to fend for yourselves. It's like, you know, slip and fall, you slip and fall type of right, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? But I think it's real gangster, man, when people you know, show you the ropes, show you that there's business to this coming in right at, right off the gate. Mm. You know, uh, you know, I followed your career, you know, a long time here, man, and I, I just know about a lot of things where, you know, uh, even after you took off and, and started really hitting it in the production game, how you went and got your own deal with, like, Motown yeah. and all these different things. Oh, you, you know, know about that? I know about all of it, man. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. Like, I really, like, He's I really, legit fan. I'm a legit fan yeah. of your work, man. Sylvia like, Rose signed me. That's what I'm saying, man. And I yeah. think that, that that doesn't come from a person that doesn't, you don't get that. Like, no, you know, mm -hmm. producers don't get that. That yeah, happens man. when you you got some business acumen about you, man. And yeah, people yeah. know that, listen, bro, this is, there's value not just in him making music, but as a as a business executive, you know wow. what I'm saying? Because they don't do they don't do deals with people that they can't do business with. Yeah, because you know a lot of a, a lot of the time people think you just a, a dumb street street nigga. Yeah, they just yeah. got lucky. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm 39. Yeah, I just turned 39 June 21st. Yeah. Father's Day, Happy Father's Happy Day, Happy Father's, Father's Day, Day. <laughs> Happy Birthday, bro. Sure. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I've been in the music business since I was 15, and and the thing is like. Um, I know too much about the business to the point I don't let people fuck me over. Mm -hmm. So that's why you don't see me as big as I should be because yep. I don't, you know, I don't take, there's a nigga deal and then there's a, that's right. <laughs> you know what I'm that's saying? That's right, that's Fact. right. That other deal, that you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, so when you learn that, it's like, okay, cool. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to stay on this side. That's you know right. what I'm saying? Because I'm, I'm, I've been winning in the streets so long, I don't even need that. That's right. You know what I'm saying? So, and then just by me um, knowing what I know, I can instill it in somebody else, and that's why you got a Jeezy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's right. And for him to speak so highly of me now to this day, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and telling the story. Let's, let's talk about that relationship, man, because, mm -hmm. you know, as producers – you know, one of the biggest things we preach around here is, you know, find an artist, find somebody wow. to, to to hone your sound with, find somebody to develop, whatever the situation may be. How did that come about with you and Jesus? Yeah, how did y'all meet? Yeah, yeah. Oh, what's the man, story like, right there? Like I was so big in making, like I used to go to making and do uh, team parties and like that's what I was doing. I was doing the chitlin circuit. Yeah, and that's that's how my team, like Twin Productions, they was like, we gonna take you to. The, the back ways because ain't uh, nobody touching that. Ain't nobody touching. You know what I'm saying? Like to this day, you can go take the back route and be hot That's because right. everybody else think they too big to go to the little country cities and all that stuff. That's right, man. You know what I'm saying? You can go, you can go through the chitlin circuit. That's what we call it. Yeah. And I was hot and making like, and, and one of my partners, he knew he knew Jeezy, and um, he he basically came down and moved down with me, you know, for a couple months. And we were just going to Jazzy T's, and I always used to see Jeezy, but I never said nothing to him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So Jeezy be on this side of the club doing his thing. You know what I'm saying? I'm over here doing my thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I'm talking about, like, we really ain't there doing it. Yeah. I wasn't even old enough to be in the strip club, by the way. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? So he he watching me, I'm watching this nigga, and we like this the same type of women. Yeah. And then my partner, you know what I'm saying? 
my partner, he, he introduced us to each other and shit because they knew each other and then it just clicked off from that. And and we never even did music for like about a year or two years. That's crazy. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? We talked about music. Like, talked about, we were just, we was balling and shit. Like, we was in the clubs. Like, yeah. Before we even did the first record. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's fine. Before we even went in the studio, so. What was that first? Was it uh, GA? Yeah, GA. Yeah, that's crazy. Classic. Classic. And it's crazy yeah, because it, the GA record actually had drama on it. Yeah. Drama left, right, left. Mm. Yeah, mm, causing man. drama. Drama had just got out of jail, and I introduced him to Jeezy, and Jeezy paid him. So then drama tried to take the record. <laughs> that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Drama tried to take the record, and it was so crazy to the point where we took drama off the record, you know, and put Pastor Troy on the record. You feel me? That's insane, dog. So yeah, it that's that's how far back me and G's go. Cause I was producing him when he was little J. Damn. Yeah. The only reason why he changed his name is because Jermaine Dupree had an artist that came out named Lil, Lil J. J. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like we had put something out. I think we put G A out and then they wanted us to change, change our name. name. Like they even they came at us at the same time. They wanted me to change my name to um the dude from um Bell, Bill, Michael Bivens had that group, the Pee Wee All Stars, mm. and the, the little kid name was Shorty Red. Yeah, <laughs> I like no, I'm Shorty. I'm Shorty. <laughs> I'm Shorty <laughs> Red, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? So they tried to make me change my name. You feel me? I was like, nah, I ain't changing my name, my yeah, nigga. Nah. I I've been in this shit first. <laughs> That's some hip hop history for you, right there. Right, right. That's right. So so Jermaine Dupree had an artist named Lil J. So they came with us at the same time. I didn't have to change my name, as you can see. Yeah. No yeah. <laughs> but Jesus had to change his. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think it's pretty dope. That's crazy, man. Describe, like, the chemistry. How did you all get that chemistry? Because when I listen back now, even when we had the playlist going, it's like, mm. Jesus is one of the best artists ever anyway, but yeah, it's right. something about him rapping over your beats. Though. Yeah, it's nah, so it's locked just, in, man. We got that chemistry. It's yeah. just like me and him the same. Like, if you if you sit in the room with me and Jesus, it's going to freak you out because you're going to be like, them niggas is the same dude. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He he a little more, you know, gangster than me. I, I'm I'm the people person. I'm going to talk to you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He ain't. You know, he gonna pull me to the side. Hey, man, you talking too much to them niggas. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't let yeah. them see that side. Yeah, that's dope. <laughs> you know what I mean? But our chemistry is just like, you know, from the time that we got in the studio, I've always been making custom beats. Mm. So it's nothing like I never played him a beat that I already had made. Yeah. You know, we sit in the studio and I... And make I, it I, Yeah, I start playing and he start, you know... Rapping in his head, he he go stand in the, you know what I'm saying, in the, in the bathroom and and just start rapping in the mirror. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If he like it, he gonna come back. Let's record it. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. I ain't, I'm not even finished with the beat. I just gotta put like simple ass drums in there just so he can record. Yeah. Cause I don't want him to forget what, what he, he got in his head. Right. Cause he don't write. He don't write shit now. Man, the craziest joint I think y'all got. In my opinion was that who that joint. The who that? Come on, man. Oh, Listen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shorty red on the man, track. Man, that shit's so crazy, bro. <laughs> hey, like, I, I just remember, man, you know, I remember working on the album back then, man, and just was like, man, this nigga tripping with this 808, brother. The man. way it hit, it's like the 808 hit on the one and a half on the beat. Right, where right. It, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. That beat's crazy, bro. I, I those, those are the times, you know, in my mind, you know, everybody got songs during their career during their life you just remember mm. things and that song was so crazy bro and it was the first time i think in a video that i had seen a producer actually put an npc in the video you was in there oh, wilding yeah. out. it was dope man, man super dope we had to turn up on that one because you know I, I tell people like things god put put things in place for a reason yeah you know what i'm saying and it's like i had this kid named d rich mm. like he was like 17 like i got him off my space wow you know what I'm saying? And um, I just kept um, artist development. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, just trying to help them develop. Yep. And um, I told him when I felt like the time was right, then I'm going to submit his tracks to to, to G's. Mm. I'm going to edit it how I think is, you know, yeah. the format. 
our format, yeah. but I, I think you the future of where we trying to go because right. I make the slower, dark tracks, and we need the radio because we wasn't getting no radio singles. Right. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And we Our stuff was getting played on the radio, but they weren't considered radio. They was considered street singles. Street singles. Gotcha. You know right. what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah. So I was like, man, hold up, man. Yeah. They they playing all our, all our stuff is the hits. They saying word for word all our stuff. Right. We need some radio That's play. That's right. Yeah, but I stuff with two gangsters for yeah, the, you exactly. know what I'm They couldn't claim it. And so <laughs> I scooped up little D Rich. You know what I'm saying? And 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 um he did that beat, he was gonna throw the beat away. I said, nah, we're not doing that. No, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I said, nah, we're not doing that. So I said to the bro, I didn't even tell him. Yeah. I didn't even tell him somebody will produce it because he don't like that. Yeah. He don't he you like, tell bro, true, if it ain't I true. can't send him no beats and yeah. say somebody else produce it. I get it. You get what I'm saying? Uh-huh. He ain't going to turn it down immediately. He's not going to even <laughs> listen to it. That's why I be trying to tell people on Instagram, do not ask me to send no beats to Jeezy. Right. Because it's not going to, it, it don't work like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I sent him the beat. And the, the funny thing, I sent him the beat. And then he called me and said, bro, I want you to get on this song. You know what I'm saying? So I said, okay, cool. So we pull up to Dirty South Studio. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Here in Atlanta. Yep. We pull up to Dirty South Studio. As soon as I'm walking in the door, boy, that song y'all got hard as a mug. <laughs> Everybody telling me, they're like, I like, what song? What what is y'all talking about? Bro, snap doing that bit. Boy, that shit hard as a mug. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I go in the studio. He bro in there, he like, man, shout to listen to this shit. He barely know how to work. <laughs> he just he tried to figure it out, but he figured out he pressed the space bar. He said, I'm like, so what I want you to do is I want you to diddy the beat. <laughs> I said, I said, what you mean, diddy the beat? You know, he like talked through the whole shit. I'm like, nigga, why you didn't say that to me the first time? Yeah. Like, I've been talking through your whole record. Nigga. What's this diddy the beat? You like you booze or not? Dang. You know what I'm saying? It's like, cause we, we up now. Right, you know what I'm right, saying? Right, like, right. what the diddy the beat? That's what they call it now. You know what I'm saying? So I'm tripping. I'm like, what? And then I want you to do this. I want you to say, shot the red on the track. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He had already laid it. So I'm I'm sitting here listening to the song. I'm like, this nigga done made a whole shot of red on the track song. <laughs> And I'm thinking to myself, I cannot let him they know. know that. Yeah, that, that, my that, little that, young that, producer for do this beat. beat. <laughs> so I just, I just got to take it. I'm like, it's a win for everybody. It's I'm like, we win, got to bro. He right. happy. My producer going to be happy. I'm happy. He want me on it. So I'm actually the one saying Charter Red. I'm on the song. That's, That's why dope. I say Jeezy featuring Charter Red. But nobody can tell which part is me. Which part? And which <laughs> part is him. Because a lot of people say we sound alike. Yeah. When I do do my rap shit. You know what I'm saying? That shit's so jamming, bro. It's just, it's one of them yeah. records, dog. But it's dope to me because I blessed a, a, a producer that never been out there. So that, he platinum. Yeah. Like he, you know what I'm saying? That's fine. Let's talk about that, man. Because, you know, a lot of cats won't do that. A lot mm-hmm. of cats won't do that at all, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, You just was in a great position because you was on a roll. Like, yeah. you know, you had to be like that. You could have easily... You know, done some. Yeah, but I, I got tired. I got tired. I was tired of just like they put me in a box. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, I'm not a trap producer. I could produce whatever. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. That's why sexual seduction did. What Can't it did. wait to talk about that. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying. Like they put you in this box, and it's like I'm not. I could produce. I play. Like I play piano. Yeah, I play drums. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I got play. So and I write songs and shit. So it's like when they put you in this box, you know what I'm saying? I was just tired. I was like, I, and then that check was the same. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, shit, fuck that. I'm going to let my little young nigga, that's what he want to do. Yeah. I'm going to let my little young niggas do that shit. Right. I'm going to go out here and we go, go try to get the international yeah. money, the pop money. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That they say we can't get. That's right. right. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm looking at for reals and Timberlands and shit. I'm like, and then when I, I'm watching Swiss Beats, and I'm like, Swiss Beats used to do my remixes. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm right. saying? Yeah. I was out before him, so right. I'm like, hold up, cuz. You know, and I'm just seeing the success of everybody else, and it make you mad because it's like, when you come from the South, and you see how little respect they have for, for Southern producers, mm-hmm. come on, Southern man. artists and mm-hmm. shit, it just fuel you to show out. 
So your sure. arrogance, you know what I'm saying, is like it's not towards your people. It's it's to to them niggas. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's like, okay, I'm finna go battle these niggas. And yeah. that was my goal. Like the, you know, I'm gonna put my young niggas on, let them do that. I'm I'm gonna go out here and try to, you know, bust Timberland head. Or yeah, somebody. well, I always wondered <laughs> what made you hit the switch, because I loved it. You know what I'm mm. saying? I was like, this was the first time that I had saw somebody, like you said, that was kind of boxed in, had a title, mm. you know what I'm saying, and, you know, as a trap producer or, you know, like, say somebody titled as a boom bap producer or whatever they are. <laughs> Tap a key. You know what I'm saying? Like, to turn it up and go to another direction. That was the first time I had actually seen that happen. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, this shit is crazy, bro. And when, and when you hit it out of there with Snoop, it was just like, what the fuck? This is gone, bro. Yeah, cause it's like it's it's the element of surprise, man. It's like Snoop been been knew what I was capable of doing. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's why he promoted me so heavily. Like, mm -hmm. like when he dropped it, he he stayed promoting me. That's you know dope. what I'm saying? He told me he was gonna do that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Cause a lot of people knew that I was drained with. I kept producing the same artists. <laughs> like, yeah. If you think about it, I just kept repetitive producing the same artists and it's yeah. like okay they don't want you over here with the britney spears and, mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying and then they start boxing you they start telling you like oh no nah, he he a trap producer nah he can't you know what i'm saying you get frustrated so it so did the so was it the snoop record that kind of moved you into being able to have talks with the labels from a Nah, I been had them talks. Because you already had those talks, yeah. Yeah, I had them talks because they knew I was an artist first. Mm. See, a lot of people knew I was an artist before they knew I was a producer. Yeah. So I was signed to MCA as an artist before I even came out and saw the ready to produce. Yeah, <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? A mm -hmm. lot of people don't, don't know that history. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, like... If you go look at Say the Last Dance, I, I got this. I got the score for Say the Last Dance, the MTV movie. It's all my original songs in there. Well, so I be eating I off that Say the Last Dance, and people <laughs> people don't even be reading the credit. I'm still eating off it to this day. It's playing right now on, on TBS. I think. You know what I'm saying? If you read it, it's like six six of my own original, six <clears> or seven <throat> of my own original songs in the movie. Wow, that's crazy, if, bro. If you read the credits, you know what I'm saying. It, so. Is movie scoring something that you want to get into? Because I heard you during an <laughs> uh, interview say that if you take the drums out of your music, yeah. it's already so cinematic with all the all Yeah, the I want to do it. that. Yeah, I want to do that. Yeah. You know, um, I like I like like the Batman movies and, the, you know, the the comic book movies, horror movies. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, if, I think I, I could do that all day. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just play the music. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's dope. I think it's space mm. for that. You know, with all the whole social justice stuff going on and all these labels yeah. talking about they want to have all these initiatives, mm -hmm. how about they, like, start giving opportunities to some of us for some of those, like, Marvel movie scores yeah. or, like, you know, some of these big... Because we can do that. We got to fight. We got to fight for it. Yeah. That's all. You know what I'm saying? Do you it's think... the politics with it. What, do you think it's going to change now? I like, don't know, you know because, like... After I did say the last dance, they sent me Pootie Tang. I thought it was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> I still got the VHS check. Take, like, literally. They sent me Pootie Tang. Wow. You Yo. know what I'm saying? <laughs> and they just sent me scenes. It was like cut scenes. I, I thought it was a joke. And I'm mad I didn't do it to this day. <laughs> but I was confused. I didn't know what I was supposed to be doing. <laughs> they sent me Pootie Tang. I said, man, is this a joke? I was like... You know what I'm saying? I still got the VHS, man. Still got that it. That is hilarious. You feel me? Because wasn't Pootie Tang's biggest song like Silence? Man, <laughs> I, I didn't know what to do. They sent me Pootie Tang. I'm like, what the hell I'm supposed to do with this? Oh, uh, hell no. Nah. You know what I'm saying? And, I, and the crazy shit, I got witnesses because I had my, I, I called my on b homies in. I called everybody. I'm like, man, y'all need to help me figure this out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> For real, for real. It was funny. Like, they thought I was playing. They were like, this can't be a real movie. And then the movie came out, and I was like, damn. Damn. Bro. Classic, too. Yeah, they sent me that movie, and then it was, um, I, I, I couldn't do the Pootie Tang. I thought it was a joke. I thought they were playing. And they sent me the Eddie Murphy and Robert De Niro movie when they playing Cops. Mm, yeah. Mm-hmm. They sent me that one, and then... um. I think that's when I was transitioning from the label. Yeah. And I, I didn't get to get to be on that one. Yeah. But yeah. Definitely want to do movie shit. That's dope, bro. That's well, speaking of uh sexual s seduction, 
that beat has such like a it's, it's rarely ever done it, it I can hear like some of the bass music elements in it. Right. I can hear R and B. Right, right, like, right. Like what you know? What were you thinking when you came nah, up? Nah, it was it was it was it was just like Snoop said he wanted ego trip. You know what I'm saying? So me and Snoop had did a bunch of records before then, but it was like strip club records, like independent records. Mm -hmm. Like if you went to Strokers in Atlanta, <laughs> then I don't go no more. If you went there, <laughs> make sure. To you know what I'm saying? <laughs> saying? They banned me. They banned me. I was hanging with Jermaine Dupree. They banned me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, like you go hear all them type of workers in there. You know what I'm saying? But like for us to really do a, a release, you know what I'm saying? It was like a uh, Snoop a Prince fan. I'm a Prince fan. A lot of my keys is Prince. Damn. People don't understand it. Like from my piano notes. To, yeah. You know, I might mix some Prince and some Dr. Dre, like, synths. Mm -hmm. And you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. My strings and my horns and my orchestra, all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? So when he said that, I wanted to make it Atlanta. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because when he said I want an ego trip, he was like, man, I want a song just like that Drifter. Because I had a song <laughs> that got leaked that yeah. I hated. I hated that song. That shit was But jam. he wanted to buy it. <laughs> he wanted to buy that song, but Sylvia Rohn signed me for that song. Uh, she she signed me as an A&R and gave me my own deal. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So, yeah. So um, I didn't want to, you know, I couldn't give Snoop the song. He wanted to buy that song. I said, no, nah, I'm going to make you one just like that. You know what I'm saying? And I made him that song. In, in mind, I was just like, instead of me doing the song with Snoop and then Atlanta DJs, Remix it into Atlanta bass shit. I'm just gonna make, make it, it make it what Atlanta it is. Atlanta bass shit. Yep. But I'm gonna put all the elements that me and him both like. Yeah. Which is Prince and Dr. you know what Dre I'm saying. Field, yeah, yeah Dr. Dre. Sense. Like when I put the flutes in there, like that was the the Dre ness. You know what I'm saying. The strings was the Prince. Classic. Like Dilly beloved. You know what I'm saying. Ah, so, man, yeah. come That's on. That's how I was going with it. Yeah, that's you know one, what I mean. That's one of Snoop's uh, biggest biggest records he ever he ever had. I want to talk more about that though. We got to get a quick quick uh, break real yeah. quick to recharge, and we'll be right back. Yeah, man. What's up, y'all? This episode is brought to you by DistroKid. DistroKid is a service that musicians use to put music into online stores and streaming services. This includes iTunes, Spotify, Apple Music, TikTok, Amazon, Deezer, Tidal, and many more. DistroKid collects earnings and payments and sends 100% of the earnings to artists. Artists can also pay their collaborators. You can also get a hyperfollow to get more Spotify followers and promote your releases. DistroKid is also the first distributor to send music to TikTok. Use this link to get 40% off your first year's DistroKid membership. DistroKid.com forward slash VIP forward slash free game. All that information is in our description. Holla at your boy. Free game. Welcome back to the Free Game Podcast. We're here with legend Shorty Red in the building, Bandwidth Studios. <laughs> now, we were just talking about the uh, sexual seduction yep. Snoop song being one of, one of his uh, biggest records. Um, how did things change for you uh, after that song blew up? Man, it's hard to say. I don't, I don't think it changed for me. I think it. I think it changed for Snoop. Yeah, because he got he called me. He said, "Man, you just called me overseas, <laughs> nephew. I'm overseas, <laughs> nephew. You know what I'm saying? Yes, he was like, he was like, they still on my first album out there. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, you know, yeah, I think that might have been uh, one of his last uh, top ten records. To me, I, I think it's just the win for me is um, that I finally, you know, I've been had the relationship with Snoop and all them. Yeah. But the win for me was just getting it, getting this shit done. I got it on my portfolio now. Yeah. And and you know that's my friend. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I can literally call him right now if I want to. Yeah. And he gonna ask. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I think that's the win for me. And then he promoted me like nobody else ever promoted me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And and just to have um a record that you wrote and produced for mm -hmm. a a goat like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's history. No, that's, I, I think that's history. That is that's you know what I'm saying? And and, and 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 what I got out of that, it was it was, you know, he, he it wasn't just producing. He was he was there for me when I was going through the other the other stuff, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Making sure I was great, 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Talking to me every day. So, you know what I mean? That's Uncle Snoop. <laughs> yeah, man. Y'all gonna y'all y'all working on something new? Y'all gonna do something? We again? got an album. I just ain't I ain't released it yet because I want to shoot the videos. Yeah, nice. You know, but you know, Snoop stay on tour. Yeah, like it's hard to get with Snoop. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So it's like when when we do link up, he only does for five ten minutes. Yeah, he's gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I don't want to put the project out and the visuals not there. Yeah, makes you sense. You know what I'm saying. So I'm just sitting on it. Yeah, you know. I got I got Misha. Misha Misha was on the project. Yeah. <laughs> you know. You feel me? Daz leaked the damn record. Daz and Gilt. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? So we gonna do another one. There it is. Yeah, Misha man. gonna do another one. <laughs> That's dope. Now I was going through your records, so many classics, but I didn't realize I knew you had dope records with uh Gucci Man, but I didn't realize you had that many. Oh man. Like, so, <laughs> so many like dope records. Yeah, you man. Know, going back, what's it like working with him? Because he's, he, of course, one of the one of the Atlanta greatest as well. Yep. I mean, you know, like you had your hands, man, in, in two right. of the greatest. I mean, what know, people don't yeah. understand it, I'm the one linked them together. That's dope. Jeezy, my brother, Gucci, was Gucci. Gucci, my friend. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If you understand it, yeah, I'm the one put them on the phone together. They linked outside of me, uh-huh. and that's what the, you know what I mean. Yeah, Whatever yeah. transpired after that, you know. Yeah, that's why people were saying like, how can Shawty Red produce Jesus yeah. and still produce yeah, Gucci? Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because if you think about it, the albums came out the same year. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. I had the same amount of tracks on both of the albums. Mm. That's why I'm confused when people be saying right. Zaytoven and Gucci. Yeah, when. Uh, the only records they told me did, which is my partner. Yeah. Shout out to Zay. Yeah, for sure. You was know, the, was the single. This, was, was the single. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I had the street shit. The shit that blew Gucci up. Yeah. Nobody talks about right, it. Right, right, right. Until they realize, oh, damn, Shawty Red did Pirates. Yeah. He did, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. East Atlanta Zone 6. And, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? What I'm like saying. all the hits, all the Nickelodeons and shit. Yeah. All the hard shit. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. working with Gucci was like, Gucci animated. So I would make Gucci beats my sound, but I would make it animated for him. When I did Jeezy shit, I would make it darker. Hmm. So if you listen to it, it's like, it still saw the red for us to bounce. You know, nobody can, you know, like 3 C Mafia. Yeah. You know a 3 C Mafia bounce. Yeah. Right. And that's what my bounce was. Exactly. So you know, okay, cool, but my keys... Okay, when I do Gucci shit, it's animated. Bro, that's why I said, you know what I'm saying, we open this up, you know what I'm saying, I kind of stepped out of pocket in saying, you know, how I feel about it. You know, I feel like you were the architect of the sound. You know what I'm saying? Like, at the time, you know, when it was really popping, you know. I mean, I mean, not to cut you off. Not to cut you off, Look, man, like, to me, like, Les Luger came behind it. That was a derivative Direct derivative, <laughs> dog. You know what I'm saying? And I just I call it like I call it. You know what I'm saying? I just thought it would I'ma tell you, I'ma tell you what a what a OG told me. Lil John. Uh Lil John and DJ Paul, all the, all of them they told me like they gonna steal your sound eventually. Yeah. So just make sure you ahead of the game. That's it. Evolve your shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because they gonna try to clone you. Yeah. And 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 your sound ain't gonna be worth nothing no more. Like it is now. That's right. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. And I I'm sure we're gonna talk about that later on. Yeah. But um the thing to me is I I, I really sit back and I just be like, what was these guys when I was going hard for young producers in the South? Yeah. Because they forget about, see, they keep talking about Jeezy and Gucci, but they forget about, nigga, I was out with drama. I did a whole album for Atlantic Records. Yeah. That was Mike Karen's first project. Wow. That's what blew Mike Karen up. Yeah. And I did the whole album at 15, 16 years old. That's crazy. Speak on it. So... It wasn't no young producers. It wasn't no, so when you try to put me in a category of people this, 
You know what I'm saying? Right. St- studying me. Even Kanye. Yeah. Drama biggest market was Chicago. Kanye would he would tell you he was a, he was listening to me. You yeah, know what bro. I'm saying? That's what I'm telling. Because yes, if you sir. listen to Jesus Walk, he samples drama in there. Come on, man. With the with the chants in left, right, left. Yeah. Attention. It's all in Jesus Walk. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. But people don't talk about that. People think that I'm supposed to be talked about with people that came after me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And my right. thing, I paid away. If it wasn't for Straight me going architect. hard, yep. you know, because my thing was, I was like, shit, I'm finna be the Jermaine Dupree for the streets. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah. You know, because I was a huge Jermaine Dupree fan. Yeah, yeah. But that's who I seen as, as a young cat when I was watching TV and yes, buying sir. cassette tapes, looking at Criss Cross. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? I'm like, I'm finna be like Jermaine Dupree. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, but my team said, you gotta be in the streets. Yeah. That's the commercial shit. You gonna yeah. get them if you fuck with the niggas in the streets. That's why I was on every street niggas project. Yeah. You, you couldn't tell me that I ain't fuck with all the street niggas that was coming out in my time. Yeah. I touched them all. Facts. So yeah. now that I'm not touching people now, fuck that nigga shot of red. He ain't got it no more. He fell off. Yeah. But yeah. how? When niggas still sound like me. Still sound like I'm talking about. Still bro, making beats like me. To this day. I Clear. tell motherfuckers, if I really wanted to be arrogant, cocky, and just full of shit, I tell motherfuckers, every time you hear that, ah, that's my actual voice. <laughs> so everybody that put that shit, if you if you sold my sounds to a nigga and shit like that, and hey. that shit in your, I could sue your ass right now because that's my actual motherfucking voice. So wherever you got that solder red drum kit and you hey. didn't get it from me, you didn't purchase it on my site. Come on, man. Shit. I can oh, sue boy. your ass right now. So you, you need to you need to not say nothing about me. Bruh. Real talk. Free game, <laughs> dog. But that's my actual voice. <laughs> by the way. I love it, man. I love it, bro. Speaking of that, uh, what's up with the shorty loops? Oh, shorty loops, man. It was just before the, you know. Shorty Loose is like my own original like melodies that I play. You yeah. know, like before I seen the splice and and all that type of stuff, I was doing Shorty Loose. You know, what I'm saying I was telling people about that, but you know, I don't have the platform like a splice or something like that. You know, yeah. I'm actually I showed it to to Jeezy. He think it's dope, so we trying to figure out how I can get a platform as big as like splice and you know. All them other companies, yeah, but it's originally played by me, yeah, royalty free. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like you just, you know, you them them the loops that I don't play in certain songs and shit like that. Yeah. It's just royalty free. That's dope. That's really you know? dope. But I'm doing it all myself, so it's like I don't have like. <laughs> so I see. I also see that you know you also diversifying. Like it's already dope that you, you know, what I'm saying. You all over the place as a producer. You could go mm-hmm. in any direction as a producer, but like in your business, I'm noticing that like you got the loops. Uh, we we just talked a little bit earlier about you being on Arabic. Yeah, like you got different ways that you still out here like being active mm-hmm. as a producer. At times that you're not actually maybe sitting in the studio or something like that. Like, right. is that like um, are you c- going to continue to grow that? Because I mean, yeah. I think it makes sense if you got access to, you know. If you have access to that type of technology, mm. are you going to just continue to grow all of that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, that's my, I've been doing that anyway. Yeah. Because a lot of people don't know I retired. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I retired and I just been studying, mm. you know, because one thing, like, when you dealing with a person like Snowman, you know, and he always, man, you should have headphones, bro. Why you ain't got your own beat machine? Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Like, when you sitting here with this nigga every day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He like, you need this. You need this. Put the play together. You got it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to bag you. And I'm like, okay, cool. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you just got to sit back and study it because you don't want no, you don't want to put it in somebody else's hand. Yeah. You don't want fun. And if you got the time, like, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I'm thankful that I did come out in the music, in the music game when I did because now... I could sit and enjoy the um, the perks of my success. Yeah, so I could just have my me time. Yeah, 
You know what I'm saying? So like when people be saying otherwise, it's just like, nah, man, it's like everybody take their break. Yeah. You know, Pharrell took his break, Dre took his break. Yeah. They studying. People were studying. They, and they educating came back themselves. Strong. Yep. They, they chilling with their family and they come back strong. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The hardest thing is for a southern producer to do that. You know what I'm saying? They just oh, it's the gimmick. You know, like yeah. like us coming out now, like everybody, oh, you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people love that me and Jeezy just dropped. Yeah. 2020 Pyrex vision, baby. Right. <laughs> yeah. But then it's a lot of people like, oh, them niggas, you, they fell off. Woo, woo, woo. They, it's fake. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Nah, yeah. it's like, you know, one thing about it is like, what I tell people to this day is like, you know, that's my big brother. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So at the end of the day, you know, it's our relationship ain't music. Right. For real. For right, real. right. Like, that's my friend. That's my, my brother. We gonna have a little brother, big brother situation, but I ain't gonna go out there and Kanye West that nigga. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you feel me? Cause yeah. that, you know, don't nobody want to see that. That's right. in-house business. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. <laughs> you feel me? You don't move like that. And yes, if sir. you know where we come from, you yeah. know what I'm saying? We don't move like that. That's right. You know what I'm saying? So, so, the, so the whole thing, like, you know, people need they, you know, they space to to get their own stuff together. You know what I'm saying? And, and figure it out. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. there's, there's a lot of woes that go on. You know what I'm saying? People mm -hmm. got to, you know, get their own things together and get their own business together. And then when it's right, then people can work better together yes, with sir. no issues. Yes, you know what I'm saying? So what brought about that that uh, surprise project, the Pyrex 2020 vision? Because it shocked a lot of people, but pleasantly shocked a lot of us because it was a, a dope comeback, uh, seven-song project from Shorty Red and uh, Jeezy. Mm. To be honest, man, uh, to be honest, man, we just felt like we needed to do something for the people. We the crazy, the, the crazy <laughs> thing, I wanted to drop more. Yeah. Like, <laughs> we did way more than seven. Yeah. Like, me personally, but he, you know, he the headline. Yeah. You know, I'm the man, and that's why I be trying to tell people, I'm the man behind the man. You know what I'm saying? I don't want the I don't want the fame. I want the I want the check. That's, That's it. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna make sure we get the check. Right. Whatever work for the team. You know what I'm saying? So I wanted to drop Mo. He's just like, nah, let's just drop seven. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was like, all right, fuck it. Let's drop seven. Yeah. You know what I mean? And shit, we might drop another seven. Yeah. You know, Come on with for it, the man. anniversary. You never Come on know. Back. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> You feel me? Yeah, man. I think it's necessary, bro. You know what I'm saying? We all know the classic albums are when great producers and great artists collab, man. Yeah. I mean, like, that's just his story. I mean, we can't we, we, we can never top the first one. Yeah. Can't never top it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But we ain't going to never slack. Come on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, like, I, 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 2020 Pirate Vision is a, is a snack. That's what I call it. It's the appetite yeah. for what's finna come. That's dope. You know what I'm saying? That's dope. Cause my man, my man Philly could tell you, yeah. I could press play. It's out of here. It's gone. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's out of here. Yeah. I'm talking about a, a hundred records. Yeah. You know, we own our masters now. We free agents. Come on, man. You get what I'm saying? So the fresh start, now we know what we doing. Like, what you think we finna do? Play with it or bust some head? Boston wide open. Right. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> That's dope. We man. know our A one's gonna. You know, we know our A one's gonna listen and and ride with us. So we we not. You know, we what? just gonna bring the new niggas with us. Yeah. What you what you producing on now? <laughs> Cause I know you got some. I know you got some secret. Uh, you know, some secret. See, me and Lil Duval did this song. What what that song we did? I working on Lil Duval project. He came to the studio the day. <laughs> what that song was? Man, me and Lil Duval like five, six records in and shit. They just funny. Like, they just funny records. Bro, he winning right now too, man. Cause I really like the last one. He just we just had uh You owe me my pants too, nigga. <laughs> yeah, Troy Taylor. We just had we just had Troy Taylor on here and we was talking about the joint he did with um uh Jacquees and, and, and them. And, uh, yeah, and Tank. Yeah, yeah that record nasty was fire record, too. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, I heard that. Yeah, it's pretty. He fire played too. it to me first. Yeah. By the way, it's pretty fire. Yeah. Yeah. You had Troy on here talking about uh, coming up with that, but man, what's the name of that song? Cause he, <laughs> he, 
Man, he went on it's it's called Instagram IG or something. What is it? Cause we he went live like while we was in the studio. That's just hilarious. did the whole song while we was in there. <laughs> he funny though. Duval like Duval, I love Duval, man. I didn't even like I used to go watch Duval like when he was doing the comedy. I always supported him, but yeah. I ain't know how much respect he had for me oh, on the music. Like, yeah. You know Back what I'm when he had dreads and all that. Right? Yeah, you remember when yeah, he used to have yeah. dreads and all that? Like he yeah. came in and just gave me so much respect. That's love. He seen how how low my Instagram shit was. He was like, nah, we going live right now. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> Let go live, baby. I can play you that shit. You be like, what? <laughs> I can play you that shit. He did that shit and recorded that shit. I was like, oh, my God. That's that dope. Was funny. But yeah, man, uh, Duval, uh, um, Kevin Gates. Got some shit with Kevin Gates. Hard. That's um, going to be crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Me and T.I. got some shit. Dope. You know me and Snow, you know, Jizzle. Yeah. Jizzle from the bottom of the map. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, Jizzle coming. Uh, I just dropped my album and shit, like a little EP. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just like an appetizer, a little snake. You know what I mean? That's dope, man. Well, I'm just glad to hear you out here still getting it, man. You know what I'm saying? Everybody know and love you, man. You know what I'm saying? Real, real shit. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm excited to hear other new stuff coming. I can't wait. You know what I'm saying? So, I appreciate you coming on the show, man. Yes, sir, man. This is a real, real conversation, man. A lot of our listeners need to hear your story. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Uh, I a lot appreciate of y'all having me, man. Y'all yes, done with me already? Well, no. Nah, what we need first, though, before we do go, is all of your social media handles and, and anything you got going on where people can go to websites, whatever you need. Yeah. Are, are, are the um, shorty loops available now? or is it Yeah, yeah. Shortyloops.com, yeah. man. Cause that's invaluable. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Shoutedloose You know, you need to go sign up for that. Yeah. Or you can just you click the link in my my IG. Yeah. Shout a red with a three. You yeah, know, yeah. if you know how to spell shout a red, <laughs> <laughs> it ain't shorty, man. <laughs> I just fucking with you. I just fucking with you. It's shouted, man. It's come shouted, on, you got to say it. man. Say shouted, man. Say it's shouted, shouted red. You got to say shouted, man. It's that Detroit. Uh, that man, Detroit, that? I know. I know. One of my partner, you the, my baby. I was like, what the fuck? My baby. I didn't, you know what I'm saying? My baby, my baby. I was like, what? That's that new, that's that yeah. new Detroit right there. That, that dude, that. man, I was like, yeah. my I baby, went, my baby. Yeah, I, I went, went back home and... I was yeah. like, what is this? That, that, that's after yeah, I got a couple time. partners from the D. Shout out to the D. What up, though? <laughs> this after my time. Like my baby shit. <laughs> yes, yeah. yeah, up, man? Well, yeah, that's it, man. This was dope, bro. Shit, free game. Yeah, real dope, man. Free game podcast. Shorty Red in the place. Yes, sir. Yo, we hope you enjoyed this episode of the Free Game Podcast. If you did enjoy it, make sure you subscribe uh, to the Airbit channel right below. Just hit, hit subscribe on the button below. Or you can go to YouTube.com slash Airbit. You know what I'm saying? If you're feeling the podcast, make sure you share it. Let your friends know. Also, there's an audio version of the podcast. Look in the notes below and you'll see where to subscribe to that. Yeah, yeah. Free Game Podcast. Free Game.